The next step in the process is we have to prepare our anaesthetic. Uh, we have the fish present here in this tank. We're going to transfer the fish and the water to these anaesthetic tubs. It is extremely important that you use the same water that the fish are held in for your anaesthetic. That way the fish, all of the water quality parameters of the water are exactly the same and the fish won't be put under additional stress. Preparing the anaesthetic, we're using a 10 litre bucket. And the reason we use a 10 litre bucket is because we're pouring this into a 60 litre tub. It allows us to calculate the exact dose rate that we need by knowing that there's an exact amount of water in the anaesthetic bath. When you're processing a lot of fish at a, at a time, it's really important to recognise that the fish are going to be using up oxygen in these tubs. So what we do is that we provide an aeration source uh, just to make sure that the fish have oxygen when, the, uh, when they're sitting in the tubs. It's really important, especially if they're held in there for, for a long period of time. Okay, so today we're using Acquiesce as our nominated anaesthetic. It's, made, it's a clove oil derivative, it comes from clove oil. It's really good for this type of surgery. For the tubs, we have 50 litres of water in the tubs, which we measured from our buckets, which using our calculator tells us that we need 5.5 mils of Acquiesce. We use that by drawing it up into a syringe. We measure that at 5.5 mil, then we will now introduce that into the anaesthetic bath. So it's good practice to make sure the anaesthetic goes under the water to ensure that it mixes well throughout the bath. So we place it like this and we simply just squeeze the syringe and mix it around. You can see the water there starts to go a little bit cloudy. That's the, uh, that's the anaesthetic mixing with the water. So the next step in the process is to take the fish and place it into the anaesthetic bath. Now, we're here in a controlled environment. We'll be taking the fish out of the tank directly into the bath. But if you're on the river, it's no problem. You can take the fish out of the river and put it directly into the bath. Here, we're going to use the same net just for this tank so that it just minimizes the spread of diseases amongst tanks. It's good practice to use the same net per tank. So we'll dip net the fish. So now that the fish is in the bath, what we're looking for is signs that the fish is losing what we call equilibrium. It loses its balance. The fish will start to slow down its gill beat rate and eventually the fish will start to move onto its side. Um, we want to see the fish with signs of no movement at all that shows that it's under very deep anaesthetic before it can actually undergo the surgical process. Okay, so we can see this fish is just starting to roll, but as we remove the fish from the water, you can see that the fish is still kicking. That means it hasn't got enough anaesthetic absorbed into its body yet to be able to be fully asleep. So we need to make sure that the fish is fully asleep before we perform the surgery on it. Okay, so whilst the fish is uh, going under anaesthetic, now we can prepare the tag so that the tag goes into the fish. We remove the individual tag from the bag. It's then good practice to make sure the tag is viable by firstly scanning that tag. And you can see there that the tag number has clearly shown on the screen of the tag reader, which tells us that the tag is working and is viable. We now take our tag applicator. This is the applicator for the 23 mil tag, which is appropriate for this size fish. We have the needle sitting in alcohol. This is pure alcohol to sterilize the needle so we don't inadvertently introduce diseases into the fish. Once the needle's been removed from the alcohol, it's in good practice to rinse the needle again in a very low concentration saline solution. That can remove any of the strong alcohol and make it a little bit better on the fish. We then place the tag itself into the applicator needle like this. Then the needle is ready for Jared to put the tag into the fish. 